last matter, he wants to see them in the way they die. The Prophet said, The last matter is going to bring human beings back based on the way you die. The way you pass away, this is how Allah SWT is going to bring you back. If you die making sujood to Allah, you will come back making sujood to Allah. If you die saying La ilaha illallah, you will come back saying La ilaha illallah. That's very good. And how would you ensure yourself dying in this moment? It's because of your own action. Actually, La ilaha illallah that you're saying when you are dying, this is the reflection of your life before death. That's why the scholars, they said, there will be no one who is going to be able to say La ilaha illallah sincerely from his heart if he did not use La ilaha illallah in his daily life. One of the doctors, he said, he said, I tried with one brother. I was asking him to say La ilaha illallah. He did not say it. In the end, he looked at me and said, Doctor, I know how, how important is La ilaha illallah. And I want to say, say it, but I cannot. You see, he can talk, he can give lecture and other things, but to say La ilaha illallah cannot. Compare this with another picture. Someone was dying. The doctor was quickly saying to him, la ilaha, say la ilaha illallah. He stopped, he looked at the doctor, he said, what kind of Muslim are you? Even he doesn't even know how to say la ilaha illallah properly. <laughs> Look at the tranquility, he's dying. <laughs> he's dying, but he can fix someone else. And the other one is saying what? No. I didn't know how to say it. And he said it, la ilaha illallah with mud, and then he passed away after it. One of the, the last uh, story to motivate us is the story of Abu Zarat al-Razi, one of the keys in terms of knowledge of this world. His students, his students, they are great, great, great muhaddithun. We're talking about the student. What do you think about the sheikh? So the student, they heard that the sheikh is going to pass away. They quickly went to the house. But the problem is the prestige that they used to have whenever they meet the sheikh is so high. So when they went to him, before they go, one of them said, Well, I astahi min Allah. He said, I feel shy of Allah to see me. I am the one who is saying to my sheikh, say la ilaha illallah. But he said, we have to help him because normally when you reach the stupor of death, you forget these things. So they went to him. Before they get in, they said, the problem is who is going to ask him to say it? This one say you, this one you, you, they say, okay, since no one is going to say it and Sheikh needs our help, let us play a game in front of him. We just pretend that we are revising the, the hadith he gave us in front of him. We greet him and then we just revise. And then we brought, the revision will be on, on the hadith of the Prophet that says, whoever died and his last word is la ilaha illallah, he will go to paradise. So let's see what happened. They went. The first one started to say, okay, let us just do the revision of this hadith. I think we think it's important. So he said, Haddathana Fulan. Haddathana Fulan and Fulan and Fulan. When he reached the place, the Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever last word is, he started shivering. He couldn't complete. He cried a lot. The next one said, okay, let me help you. He took over the system, uh, the, uh, the revision. When he reached the same position also, he started shaking. Naturally, they, they don't know why. So they kept on doing this, not knowing what to do. Their plan is going to fail. The sheikh, he looked at them, he said, uh, students, please help me to sit down. So he sat down. I never heard of something like this. He sat down, he brought the hadith with chain of narrator. This is what's the last minute he has. He brought the hadith with the chain of narrator without mistake. And then he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever last word is la ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar. The one who narrated the hadith, he said, kharajat ruhuhu ma'aha ila ilaha illallah. The soul went out when he reached la ilaha illallah. The soul went out. He did not say dakhal al-jannah. Look how Allah swt is treating him. Because if he said dakhal al-jannah, that means his last word is what? Dakhal al-jannah. So when he reached La ilaha illallah, Allah SWT cut off the life. So that the last word of this shaykh will be this. This is Allah SWT. That's why wallahi, you will never be disappointed by Allah SWT at the last moment. You please Allah SWT now, when you come to die, Allah SWT will never disappoint you. Instead, he will send to you support, someone who is going to support you.